up, y'all? It is your boy Weep Healer in the house. Welcome back to some more Clash of Clans on my Town Hall 9 account. Gonna show you guys two epic war raids I had last war. We did end up winning the war. It was very, very nice, and we crushed them 25 to 14. We'll get right into those raids, and then I'm actually gonna show you a raid on my other account, my Town Hall 6. I wanna show you guys a nice little giant slash healer raid, which can be beneficial to anybody who is a lower level like a Town Hall 6. A lot of people were requesting videos for me showing a typical raid at Town Hall 6, and that's gonna be fantastic so what I did here on the first raid I attacked his number three since I was number three was able to lure out the clan castle using two hogs and it worked very very nicely drawing him out to the left side of the base with a couple archers I did bring enough archers this time around last time I didn't and the clan castle troops actually did quite a bit of work on me which was unfortunate but La Dolce Vita the sweet life is about to get crushed dropped one more archer get all these guys in a group and then epic little whiz drop and watch the clan castle troops get destroyed right here boom boom one shot two shot three strikes go so very nicely done we're gonna come in close to the bottom i think this was the best spot to attack from drop the clan castle golem and two of my golems i was gonna come in from the left hand side over here but there was an archer queen and i figured that's probably not the best spot let's get the most defenses to lock onto the golems and then we drop in our wizards and they're able to just clean up those outside bases i waited a little bit did drop the wall breakers to get into that second wall pekka's moved into perfectly drop the rage spell Take out this cannon and a couple more clan castle troops that were left over. Couple more wizards. Gonna drop the barb, gonna drop the AQ. Gonna get into this wall by using a couple wall breakers and another rage spell. And then here comes the mayhem. We do drop a jump spell and we're able to get everybody over into that middle. Take out the two expos and absolutely drop the bomb hammer on this town hall. There's one star, 33%. And it still have basically almost everybody alive in the middle with those wizards. Cleaning up house. Golems on this hand side. It did drop another rage. Actually, that's the... Um, Iron Fist from the Barb King who worked out into the Hidden Tesla and gonna move into this part of the base to take out a few more uh, buildings to get that 50% and the two stars. So that's a really, really nice raid. Pretty standard go white for Town Hall 9. I did tell you guys uh, in the video before the strategy for the Town Hall 9 go wipe. It's three rage spells, one jump, get yourselves into the center, get the one star on the Town Hall, and then uh, clean up the area for about 50% for the second star. So here's my troops right here. We did end up doing two hogs to clean out the clean castle, the clan castle, excuse me, three golems, three pekkas. And uh, everything else just worked out well. You know, a couple wizards, 15 or so. I see a lot of people using less wizards than that, but that actually worked out really good. And that's my, uh, my troops. So let's go into the other raid. And it's actually... Actually, a really, really beast raid, if I do say so myself. So let's get into Gordon, see what he's got for me. He's got a Town Hall 10. Pretty rushed, obviously, with all the uh, walls not up to par, but the rest of his base was pretty updated, so uh, at least for the defenses. Expos were a little weak, but we end up getting the Clan Castle troops. We're going to draw them out up to the top over here with this little archer up here. And then once all the troops get up to the top, we're going to draw them to the right-hand side of the stage. And this is actually uh, a technique brought to me by one of our dudes in the clan named Aimbot, our number one guy. He's a really high level, and uh, he's drawn some strategies very nicely, and I'm able to uh, take advantage and learn, uh, learn the game a little bit better. So... From him to me to you, here's a nice little go wipe. We do end up dropping the golems, get most of the defenses to hit on, and then we drop the wall breakers in, get through that first wall. I knew he had a hidden Tesla over there. A couple spring traps, which kind of beat me a little bit with the uh, wall breakers, but it didn't really matter. We end up dropping the wizards around, clean up these base sides first, over here and over here, so your Pekkas can get right into the middle, take out that dark elixir storage. First and foremost, though, man, these Inferno Towers, without a free spell, you have to get in there quick. This was a multi-target um, Inferno, and we wanted to really get in there quickly. Uh, that could really, really break down a raid really quickly. So, was able to jump over into there. Nobody really got over to that Inferno Tower quickly because there was other defenses like the Expo. And a lot of mayhem going on. Did drop another raid spell. The Golems went right for that Inferno Tower, knocked him out, got the Town Hall with the P.E.K.K.A., and we just completely just dropping spells and absolute mayhem going on in there. Able to take out more buildings here and get that 50%. The Inferno Tower still doing some work, but that Golem was sponging it up. I was hoping really, really much to get this 50%. And up top, we were able to drop a couple Wizards to take out the two Barracks. And they, they honed in on this cannon and were able to take him out to get me the 50%. And I was as happy as a kid in a candy store. Could not believe I took down a Town Hall 10 to start it. Really, really happy. This was basically for War Loot at this point. We ended up winning the war uh, pretty handily, 25 to 14. So 
That got me quite a bit of war loot. I was able to get 730k of each resource and 2850 dark elixir. So very, very happy about that. And uh, yeah, so that was a good war. I'm going to be doing another war pretty soon. We're actually in prep day right now. Uh, I'm going to head over to my Town Hall 6 account and show you guys a giant slash healer raid that is better for lower ranked guys and guys in my other um, Weeps Peeps clan. So I'll catch you guys in a minute. All right, and we are back with the Town Hall 6 account. Going to show you guys real quick my last war raid. This was a war we just won, 123 to 60. Everyone was very active this time, and we did some good work there. Let's see if I can find my actual attack. You know what? We're going to go over here. It's a lot easier to just go to his number, and I believe I was 38 on this one, and we attacked this guy. Yep, Papa Weep. So this is a learning process for everybody. I understand that. And uh, I just want to show you guys a typical giant slash healer war raid. I went for the clan castle first. He had no troops in there. So we're going to go ahead and drop all of our barbs, uh, excuse me, all of our giants over here. And the good thing over here is that there were no spring traps. There's no spot for a spring trap between the elixir collector and that wall. So I knew I was safe to drop all my giants in one spot. What we want to do is get to this air defense. I did drop a heal spell there, trying to get through the defenses, drop a couple more wall breakers in order to get through to the second wall. But unfortunately, they went around to that cannon. But the heal spell was good enough to keep all the giants alive up until this point when they're going to go into this spot to get rid of that air defense. Once you get rid of the air defense, you can basically drop your healers and you're kind of okay. Um, there are air bombs obviously to take into account and wizard towers, but most of them on this side, there isn't really anything that can take them out except maybe this archer tower. So able to take down that air defense, get into the cannon, knock him around. Two heals are basically going to heal this entire spot. Did get hit up right there a little bit. The air bomb only took about half or a little bit more than half of my healer's um, life right there. But we were able to keep these guys alive to get rid of the wizard tower. Wizard towers are absolutely really strong at this part of the game. They can really take out a whole cluster of archers or barbs really early on. And that can really ruin a raid quickly. So we're able to keep both of my uh, healers alive and get most of the giants still free to go. Another air bomb is going to take out one. Oh no, it actually didn't do anything. The heal spell healed them, which was nice. So they're getting into this cannon over here. I I did end up dropping archers all around the perimeter of the base just to take out the outside troops, the own or outside buildings. The, the problem at this time, uh, this level town hall is your troops are so weak that if you don't really take out each individual spot with a couple archers, it takes forever for them to take them out. So you want to drop them early. 42 seconds left in this raid, and uh, the giants are still continuing to do work because there's nothing that can hit the healers. The healers stay back far enough in order to not get shot down, especially by the wizard tower and the archer towers that were already taken out. So. Typical, typical giant healer rage, um, raid. I mean, it's just something that works out very nicely at this town hall. You can pretty much three star any town hall six, even with upgraded buildings, um, simply because your giants don't die. They go after all the defenses first. The healers are good to go, and basically the rest of your troops can clean up the outside area very nicely. So he had no builder huts around the perimeter of the base, which was nice. And everybody is going to hone in, to, in onto this town hall and just completely lay waste. We got wizards, we've got archers, we've got giants now hitting it up and we 100% three-star that base. So that, take note, guys. If you have any questions on how to raid at a lower level like a Town Hall 6, especially in wars, it's all about getting those stars. Watch that replay over again. It really, really helps out. Uh, up until this point, my raid strategy was really poor because the troops are so poor, and unfortunately, you can't three-star a lot of bases until you get to Town Hall 6 and unlock the healers. So the healers are absolutely fantastic. There's a little bit of back-and-forth play with the Town Hall uh, 6 when you do get the air defense. I've uh, actually upgraded to a Town Hall 6 and gotten my level 3 air defense, but... Um, like I said, man, the healer giant spell is probably the best. Or healer giant raid is definitely the best raid you could do at a Town Hall 6 and your best chance of getting three stars in a war. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Drop a like if you liked all the raids. I did some pretty good work in this episode. I uh, appreciate all the love so far. And, uh, yeah, catch you guys next time. Peace.